Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen demo of retrieving parts of the collection. In this video, we will move on to retrieving single elements from the collection. As a part of that, there are a couple of functions that are already defined which are provided out of box in Kotlin and we will try to understand them. So let's go through a demo. So here I have same list, uh, the list of cities and we will work with this data to understand various things. First thing is I want to show something like element at what it does is list of cities dot element at four and that returns me the element that is available at the index four so that's new delhi and then there are a slight variations of element at uh, for example there is element at or null or element at or else so let me show you that element at or null. So let me slightly modify this. So this is going to give me either a element which is at index 4 or what you can also do is if you give a very large index say 10 instead of throwing a exception because you went beyond the range of the list of cities it gives you a null value. So this is much better than having a exception being thrown at you and then there is element at or else that is a, another option so what you can do is else give 10 and then you can give a default value it will be written as trailing lambda syntax and i can return no element at index and this instead of just giving a null gives a better understanding statement so these are the various types of element at that is element at element at or null or element at or else other than this we have another function which is first and last and that should be pretty self-explanatory first basically returns you the first element from the list or collection so instead of giving you the index you can just say return me the first element and in the same way there is something like last and that returns you the last element from the collection so you don't have to really worry about providing the index it's a very handy way of getting the first and last element and you can even give a condition uh, for these functions as a trailing lambda syntax so you can say that first element say start with letter h and do you want to ignore the case or not and if you do this it returns publi because that is the first and if i just change it to say m it, it returns you the first element that has a string starting with alphabet m let's assume that after mumbai there was mahabaleshwar and if i ran this it would still return me Mumbai but instead of placing it after Mumbai if I had placed it before Mumbai I would have got result as Mahabaleshwar that's what this first does you can do in the same way the last and in this case it returns me Mumbai because traversing from left Mumbai is the last element to start with the letter M that's about the first and last functions and then you have a function like find so let me show you list of cities dot find it dot equals i can say new delhi so in this case i am basically saying is there a new delhi in the list so it actually did find in the same way you can just increase this so it dot length greater than say eight so it returns the first element whose length is greater than eight bangalore is the first element if i just increase it to 10 it gives me mahabaleshwar and if i increase it to say 20 it will give you a null value because there is no such element and other than this we have random that is print return a random element from the list that is list of cities dot random and every time i run this it gives me some random element from the list so this time it is giving me mahabaleshwar and if i run it again it gives me something else and if i run it again it gives me something else so if you want to randomly select any element from a collection this is the one that you can 
go for and other than that there are couple of other functions to check if the element is present in the collection or not the first one is contains printf contains what it does is list of cities dot contains say Chennai. It returns me true or false. And in the same way, if I enter something else here, which is not present in the collection, then it returns me a false. And then there is is empty. It returns true or false depending upon whether the list is empty or not. So in this case, there are elements. And in the same way, there is a function like is not empty so this is just a opposite of is empty and if i run this that is going to return me a true because it is not empty it contains the elements and then you have is null or empty so in this case if i run this it returns me a false because it is not empty but however if this was empty and if i ran this it returns me true so is null or empty is very similar to is empty or is not empty. After having understood this, there is one more thing that I want to explain you, which is first not null of and first not null of null. So to understand this, let me create a class here, a data class, which is called rectangle. It has value height of int and value width, which is of once again int, and then val area. I will write a getter here and the way this returns is height into width now let me write a function in this case what i will do is i will create a list of rectangles so i have list of rectangles and i want to just see what are the various areas that it prints and let me just invoke this particular function here so i have these various rectangles and their area now what I want to do is, I want to check, is there a rectangle? Instead of calling it as element, let me call it as rectangle. So is there a rectangle whose area is more than a particular condition? So it has to give me either yes or no. So now what I will do is, well, sample rectangle one rectangles dot first not null of and then it dot area take if it is greater than or equal to say 30 and then i want to print now if i run this it returned me this one because that is the first element whose area is bigger than 30 selected area and if i make it say 40 it still returns me a value which is this let me make it 41 now it gives me a exception no such element exception because there is no rectangle whose area is larger than 41 however if you don't want to throw an exception, then instead of using first not null of, you can use first not null of or null. And if I run this, here you will see that you won't see a exception, rather it returns a null because there is no such element. So if you want to throw an exception, you can use the previous one. But if you don't want to throw an exception, then first not null of or null should be good enough for you. So with this, we have ended retrieving of single elements from the collection demo. In the next video, we will meet with a another topic. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.